Welcome back, Blade fans. This old sword's with you. And I have a spiny dogfish with me today. Now, I guess that's the name of a fish that I'm not familiar with. But since it was designed by Michael Gavick of Gavco Knives, along with knives with names like the Great White and the Thresher, I guess the spiny dogfish is an uncomfortable fish to be with. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. And I haven't done so yet, but uh, you may want to do so. This is a knife that comes to us from Civivi. It is a budgety knife. And uh, I think it's in the $60, maybe less, $50, $60 threshold. I will leave you links. Sorry, I don't have that um, front and center in my mind at the moment. But it is an interesting knife because of the compound grinds that we see. Uh, you could call this a um, reverse Tonto. You could call it kind of a worn cliff with a belly. Uh, you could call it a complex ground knife, but um, they must have really needed to uh, make a few passes with their CNC machines in order to get this guy right. It's an interesting knife, though. It is very light, very light. Um, it's got some weight relieving inside for sure. And uh, we're going to measure it up in a moment. Got a deep carry clip. We've got a, a pretty good amount of blade to handle ratio. This one is uh, blacked out and a OD green handle. They also come in a stone wash natural finish with a black handle and the same with a um, natural jade green G10. Three different flavors that I'm aware of. Black clip on this one. That's sort of what lent me to uh, get this version is uh, I like the black clip. Even though we know black clips eventually wear and the silver starts to show through, etc. You can black them out with a marker or do what you want. But uh, we'll call that, uh, for lack of a better name, Cerakote finish. Could may not be exactly Cerakote. I'm not sure what they use. Um, I do know that they're using 14C28N on this guy, I believe, even though you can't find it anywhere. I'm going to check the box. Let's check the box. Oh, by the way, comes in a nice pouch, unlike some Wii knives, which are higher end, unless they've gotten back to that. And you get a nice uh, little sticker here of kind of a, um, not sure which one that is. And you get a straight out Civivi sticker. You get your bright green microfiber cloth and you get a box. And the box does say 14C28N. So good thing that they're putting that on the box. Um, so big old opening hole. That is your only way to open it. It is on bearings. So we can middle finger flick it. Except didn't fire that time. Still kind of breaking in. Not exactly what you call drop shot. You can also jam your thumb in there and do a thumb flick. Or, if you want to be civil with the people around you, I don't know if you can, actually. You can sort of roll it out. But uh, it's got a strong enough detent to where it wants to be flicked and not rolled out. I don't know that I could. Probably if you got it with both fingers to get it started, you could. But that is a good thing. you got a positive detent. can't shake it out. Got an interesting uh, kind of stone texture on the handles usually see that on some higher end stuff i like the stone texture for instance that ken vehicate does on his custom knives for black rock and uh, what else well, why don't we measure it get that part out of the way i know i could give you specs off the manufacturer's site but let's do it the good old fashioned way, seven and three quarter inches overall and three and a half inch roughly blade length. Pretty straightforward on that. 
blade stock in millimeters, 2.8. Also, 0.11 in inches and exactly half an inch across the beam. How about the weight? I'm gonna need to back out a little bit here. Magic scale on. What do we got? Ooh, we got a nice light three ounces. I'm just going to call that three ounces. Shade over three ounces. So, yeah, it is well under the ounce per inch. Three and a half inch blade, three ounce knife. Very cool. And a deep carry. Is the deep carry switchable? Ooh, that is a good question. No, it is not. Oh, shame on you, Savivi. What'd you do? You didn't allow it for lefties? Come on. Yeah, you can open it that way as well. These uh, knives like this, I like to flick them that way sometimes. Grab that big old long slot. Um, I was mentioning other fish names from Gavco. So here we've got the BRS Blade Runners version of the Thresher, a Gavco design. Completely sterile on this one. It's an M390 blade. No, it isn't. I think it's S35VN. I should check that, but it's at least S35VN. But it's, like I said, it's completely sterile, stonewashed on this. No markings, zero whatsoever. Uh, I think we got, yeah, we got the BRS uh, logo there on the clip. And that's about it. Titanium, bronzed, gold sort of handle on that one. And we've got the Artisan Great White. This is the Econo version of the Great White. Yeah, it's got that bat wing sort of uh, like Max Ace is doing with uh, the Red Queen and all of that. Uh, interesting, interesting. You can see that um, Michael Gavick likes these weird angles. He likes these double upswept points on the top of these <coughs> blades. And certainly on this one, he likes, and it's the black makes it hard to see that grind. I probably should have gotten the uh, the natural one, but... A lot of you guys like your blacked out knives. So there it is. And there's the grind. And it is stone washed. And it's pretty muted. So if you're interested in showing off that grind, you may want to get one of the other two models. But that's what uh, Gavco Knives is producing. Some very interesting stuff. And... Uh, there's a comparison with the Griptilian. Griptilian's about a half inch longer overall and just a skosh longer in the blade. How does it fit the hand? Um, it's not very tall. It's narrow in here, but it's got all these interesting um, angles and scallops. Got one there, got one there, got one there. Um, there is no jimping, zero jimping on top here. You may or may not like that, but you got a lot of texture on the handle and it rolls nicely into the palm. It is not a small knife. It's really a medium knife. Uh, you can use the finger choil. It's pretty ample. Just don't jam it up in there too tight, but you can certainly approach it from here if you want to choke up. I've got a pretty good point for utility and it's got a pretty good belly for general cutting and comes through nice and uh, shaving sort of sharp smooth not aggressive but razory razory is that a word it's wide open really wide open no backspacer one barrel spacer and uh you know that would lead us to wonder if it's flexible. It isn't. I'm not getting any movement 
in there, maybe just a tiny bit of movement. Here's your Civivi logo. Um, I'd say it's not a heavy duty knife. It's a light to maybe medium duty knife. You could get a fair amount of work done with this. But again, you may want a little bit more handle. But again, all those complex angles on the handle do actually give you places to hold a knife. You can hold it this way. You probably even, eh, I wouldn't want to choke back that far. You can hold it here. You can come up here with your thumb. You can pinch it up here. Not bad. Not bad. Interesting knife. Lightweight, as we found out. And another pretty incredible design from Gavco Knives, Mike, Michael Gavco. Hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. I'll be back. I've got a ton of blades in the house these days. Customs, production, all kinds of good stuff. So um, should have an interesting week or so with reviews. Catch you soon.